everybody, my name is Nicole Cummins and I am Molly's owner. Today we are going to do an unboxing for the new Dapper Dog Box. This is a subscription toy and goodie box for dogs. This company is relatively new, I believe they started in July. Uh, today we are going to be opening uh, their new box. Um, I'm not sure if this is the July box or the August box. Um, but it is a monthly service, so let's go ahead and open it. Um, this is a nice, sturdy box. I like this because um, I like to save the boxes from the subscription services I get for storage. Um, it's good to um, reuse things. Um, you know, you can also recycle this if necessary, but it is a very heavy-duty box, so this is, would be good for storage. Um, it has a cute little logo on it, uh, the Dapper Dog Box, goodies for your Dapper Dog. So let's go ahead and open it up. And just to let you know, this isn't our first take, so we already did open it. Um, it was a lot prettier, so just to let you know that um, they did a really good job putting it together, but we messed it up a little bit. And then uh, they just have a cute little thing here. What is Dapper? Dapper dogs are chic, charming, neat, smart, and trim. Well, Molly's not exactly trim, but we still love her. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Um, I have a personal note from the owner, which I really appreciate. Um, I've been in contact with her. That's one thing that I really liked about this service was that um, the customer service was so excellent. I had a problem when I was first subscribing and uh, the owner got back to me immediately, um, solved my problem, and since then I've been in contact with her. Um, she's a really um, awesome person and uh, she started this company because her dog had some allergies, um, so she wasn't able to uh, use the subscription services that are currently on the market, so she went ahead and started her own. Um, she likes to get um, her items from local um, um, companies, which I really like. Um, that's something that Molly and I like, is to support local companies. Uh, she gets treats that um, are allergen-free. Um, I know she offers grain-free. Um, organic uh, so she just gets some really good items here and if your dog does have any special dietary needs or um, allergies uh, you can just let her know and she will work with you uh, to get the items that you need uh, for your pet um, Molly doesn't currently have any special dietary needs well maybe she needs to lose a couple pounds but besides that um, we don't have any special dietary needs so we just have uh, the regular box here um, so Let's see here. Um, there was a nice welcome letter here, uh, wel welcoming you to the box and just talking about um, a little bit about what they're about, um, um, about how they're dedicated to natural, uh, grain-free, organic, gluten-free, uh, socially aware company. Uh, they give preference to artisan and small business owners. Uh, that's what we were just talking about. And look at that, Molly's already going after her treats there. Um, and I like that they donate a dollar from every box to an animal rescue or shelter. Um, here is their information on social media and I really encourage you to give them a follow. Uh, they often offer um, discounts, they have contests, uh, so this is just um, a really good company to follow. Um, we currently follow them on Facebook and Instagram. But I see here they have uh, Pinterest and Twitter as well. Um, so there's their information there. So please uh, give them a follow. Uh, this box also came with a little letter. This is the French Quarter box. And they're just talking about uh, a little bit about what's in the box. And I really liked that on the back here, they give you uh, detailed information about each item. And they also uh, tell you the price, uh, ingredients, things like that, and they let you know the total value of the box. And they also let you know uh, where your donation is going. This month, it looks like it's going to a rescue center um, for uh, pit bulls, um, rehabilitation and placement. So that's really cool. Um, and look down here, it says, depending on your dog's allergy size, chewing styles, and inventory, you may have um, alternative treats or toys in your box. And um, she included a personal note to me, which I thought was really awesome. Um, we have Molly here. Molly is a very uh, heavy chewer. And um, we recently adopted a new dog, Luana, who we thought was four years old, but it turns out um, the vet thinks she's actually one or two years old. 
but she's still kind of in her puppy stage and she's a very heavy chewer so she let me know in my note that we were getting uh, some items for heavy chewers which I really appreciate that you know she took the time to find out what my dog you know needs and when you sign up there is a spot that you can let um, her know if your dogs have a special dietary need or if um, they're heavy chewers things like that so let's go ahead and get into the box and see what we have um, my son <laughs> was in it earlier so he was already detaching things but um, we have a little um, squeaky crab here and both of my dogs really like this um, they've already got it all nice and slobbery and this is from patchwork pet collections and this is a company um out of california corona california and i know molly was really enjoying uh chewing on this one earlier but i can see she wants to get after those treats uh we also have oh there she goes she's really digging that yeah is that is that your baby yeah, Molly approves. We get two paws up for the crab. Two paws up. Cool. Okay, also we got this really cool ball. Um, it's by Cycle Dog, and it's got this really pretty pattern in it, as you can see. And um, this is for heavy chewers. It's high durability, and I really like this is post-consumer recycled material. So this is non-toxic, uh, floats in water. Um, high bounce squeak ball and I really like that this is recycled so um, I like that this company has this commitment where not only are their items good for your animals but they're also good for the environment so to me that's very impressive so I'm not strong enough to squeak this but I bet that's something that Molly's really gonna enjoy and especially Lana Lana's really been digging those balls so let's take a look what else we have um, we have some uh, treats here and um, look at that those ingredients just a few natural ingredients um, that's like something a, a person could eat so uh, that's looking really good um, I'm really impressed with the quality of these treats here let's see what Molly says oh yeah Molly's ready to dig into that and I like how she has um, the information attached right there so you know exactly what you're getting. And Molly, Molly thinks this is smelling awesome. She's really excited to get into this. So we got three of those. And here is another item from Cycle Dog, the Earth Friendly Pet Company. These are Trail Buddy Treats. Look at that, 100% beef, one ingredient, nothing else. Um, this is all made and sourced in the U.S. I really like that because a lot of treats you find are actually made out of the country. And um, I've heard some bad things in the news about recalls and things like that. But here, this is made in the U.S. It's locally sourced. It's safe. This is good for the environment and good for your pets. And look at that. Those look delicious. 100% freeze-dried beef liver. This is something that I am really uh, comfortable giving to my dog. Um, and it has the feeding recommendations uh look at that human grade ingredients this is really awesome it's good for training you can use it for smaller dogs um looks like you can even give it to your cats so this is really an excellent item here so let's take a look what else we have i just i love this packaging it's just so pretty and you can tell that um she really took the time to make this um a nice beautiful um, aesthetically pleasing box which i also like uh, here's some little snaps and again um, look at those ingredients this is all stuff that I can eat too or my dog can eat um, although I wouldn't recommend it because <laughs> I'm not sure if it is safe for people and wow this is really heavy this is uh, go nuts guaranteed chew toy for your dog um, made in California so again this is something local um, this business um, I believe is also based out of California and this is this nice chewy bar and this thing is heavy like i had trouble picking it up it's so heavy and um it smells like it's um rubber um i'm not sure if that's what it is i'm sure that it says here in the um or it probably says on our little car here let's see here um okay this is probably an alternative toy so i don't see it on here but um this is a very nice quality item i i have not seen anything like this in the pet stores um so this is really awesome i think that molly is really going to enjoy chewing this let's see what she thinks 
Yeah, look at that. I think she's still in love with her crabby guy there. Yeah. <laughs> I think the crabby guy is uh, Molly's favorite. Yeah, look at that. Look at her go. That's a good girl, Molly. That's a good girl. Two paws up. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is a beautiful little bag here. I just love this packaging. It's so cute. You can just tell that they really took the time to make this beautiful, um, which I really appreciate. Because some subscription boxes, it feels like they just kind of throw stuff in there really nilly But this um, is beautiful. And it's a bandana. Um, as Molly's followers know, she really loves the bandanas. And um, I let the owner know that. And look at this. This is just an adorable little bandana here that I think Molly is really going to enjoy. So um, we'll figure out how to put this on. Um, looks like there might be... Um, Oh, I see. It goes into her collar, it looks like. That's a really good idea. Um, I think it talks about it on here. Doggy bandana. Um, let's see here. Handmade patient collar. Yep, it slides over the dog collar to prevent choking or the bandana um, coming undone. And this is from an Etsy shop. Uh, that's a really good idea, actually, because um, I know um, Molly's fine with bandanas. But Lana, my puppy... Um, she always gets caught in her bandanas um, and it can be a safety issue. So I really think that's a great idea that you can just slip this over the collar and then it prevents uh, choking or any other hazard. So that's an excellent idea and just adorable packaging. Um, this is really high quality. You can feel the quality of the material. Um, really nice cotton uh, sewn well. Uh, this is this was a good a good item. And look at Molly. She's still loving on her little crabby guy there. Yeah, she really likes that. Okay, so let's see what else we got. There's so many good treats in here. This is Mutt Mama uh, Bayou Bites. And look at that. Molly's saying, oh, this is what I want next. And <laughs> let's see what we got here. Okay, this is gluten-free, peanut butter, bananas, goat's milk, flaxseed, oat flour, and flower essence. Wow. And look at that. Molly is like, give this to me now. I think that we found something that we like better than the crab. We'll get some of those in a minute, baby, because I can't open this one-handed. Okay, well, if you hold it, I guess maybe we can. Maybe we can teamwork this open, Molly. <laughs> Ew, I'm upset. Let's see if we can get these open, because Molly is really excited. It looks like this is a resealable bag here. Yep, that's pretty nice. It's a little Ziploc bag. Um... I'm not sure if I can get this open one-handed, though. Molly, we might have to wait until we're done with our video, okay? We might have to wait, or we can maybe just set the camera here for a minute. Sorry about that. Okay. Molly does not want to wait, so we will open this and see what we got here. Okay. So, these smell awesome. Um, once again, I think these are peanut butter, bananas, uh, goat's milk, flaxseed, oat flour. I mean, this like smells like something I want to eat. <laughs> it smells delicious. And they are cute little shapes. Um, oh, and there it goes. I couldn't tell what it was because Molly ate it too fast. Yeah, Molly gives that one two paws up as well. And again, this is something I'm real comfortable giving to my dog. This is, you know, locally sourced treats, good ingredients. I'm really, really liking this. Okay, so the next thing we have is uh, some macaroons, coconut and coconut oil. And let's see if we can find the ingredients. Look at that, another one, really good ingredients. Just a few um, ingredients, uh, people, safe ingredients. Again, I wouldn't eat this, you know, but it's just good to know that, I mean, they're using stuff that would be safe for people. So you know it's good for your dogs. And then, um, let's see what we got here. We have a little brochure to go along with that. And um, I think this just talks about their company a little bit. Yep, just talking about um, how their treats are made. So that's pretty cool. So that was the box. Um, I feel like we got a really good deal uh, for what we paid for this. Um, I had um, gotten a coupon code and I signed up for the six month subscription and like I said follow them on social media because I see um, deals all the time. Um, I think I mentioned 
that they're having um, a deal right now on Facebook, and I think it goes through the first week of August. It is uh, $20 off your first box, so that is um, an awesome deal. And go ahead and sign up for their mailing list, too. Um, they do a good job keeping in contact with their customers. Just recently, I got an email, and it was asking um, for opinions about... Uh, new box ideas they were having. Uh, she was thinking about possibly making a treats only box or making a smaller box uh, with a lower price point. So I really like that she um, tries to get feedback from her customers. And um, again, this company just has exceptional customer service. Um, you, you're not going to find customer service like this um, from some of the larger um, subscription uh, chains. So this is um, a local um, box and um, it, it's like a small business feel to it which I really like you know she gets to know her customers and really tailors the box um, so it's a good fit for you and your pet so um, again this is Nicole Cummins um, and Molly so thank you for joining us for our first unboxing video uh, we'll start doing these videos um, when we get our subscription boxes and uh, just give our opinions and let you know what we think so um, overall I haven't started a rating system yet but um, five stars two paws up uh, this is an exceptional box so uh, thank you for joining us and have a good day say bye bye mom